Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. Wanted to do a quick video on a couple of couple of things. Um, the first thing is that um, I've reached, I believe it was 439 when I checked YouTube this morning um, as far as subscribers and I'm really excited. I'm almost to my 450 goal. Of course I want to pass that goal but my prize is based on the 450. So I'm really happy. Keep subscribing and liking my videos and um, if someone's referring you to my channel, please mention their name so I could also enter them in the drawing. So I've been making a bunch of pin cushions lately. I'm on a pin cushion roll, so I just wanted to share a few with you that I've made. Um, this one's from a mason jar. And I know it's kind of tall. Let me see, I think I'm going to lift up my camera a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. Okay, I'm back. I was trying to lift up my camera a little bit, but I don't know if it got to the point that I wanted it to. But anyway, it's it was uh, my first mason jar pin cushion. And it does open up. Um, inside I put some... Um, die cuts of dress forms from the Tim Holtz die and I gave them wings with Mod Podge melts of molds that I made myself so I, just, I thought that, that, that really turned out neat and it's kind of they're peeking through the glass and you could still put stuff in there uh, but this is kind of a display piece at the same time the top is my beautiful pin cushion have to make pins. I haven't been making pins lately. So you could put your pins in there and then I, I love this arty cake. Art eye cake. I know I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyway, the one of the gems from one of the pieces that I got from Michaels. So there's one. I'll leave that pin cushion in there. And I made this this teacup one. I really, really like this one. It's a milk glass teacup that I got from the thrift store. This is one of my more daintier ones and I really love how that came out. I watched several videos on what was the best method of making them and kind of have adapted to my own methods. So that's another one. And then this is another one. I made another one as well but I don't want to show it because it's a gift. But this one is cute too. This is from a jelly jar, um, some apricot jam that I had eaten. And I really, really like how this one came out. I, on top of it, I used the vintage doily. And you could see the cotton picking, picking through it. And these are the Prima pins that I put in there. That came at really cute. And then the bottom I decorated with some lace and trim. So that was another one, and let's see, and this other one is a secret one that I'm working on. I think that's that's all I wanted to show you. I wanted to give you an update on the subscribers, and then the last thing I wanted to do is show you a swap that I was in, in a group. Um, and this is what Michelle Arvalo sent me. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I got her name right. So I got this yesterday. It was um, the theme was a steampunk muffin tin. So this was wrapped in this, and it looks like she decorated the muffin tin. I'll probably end up dumping all this out because um, it's gonna fall out anyway when I show you. These three compartments are pin cushions, and it looks like it's a. Uh, just from the sound of it, I know I keep stabbing it. It sounds like a um, styrofoam pin cushion, which is one of the ways that you can make pin cushions. Oh, the bottom just fell out of the one of the feet. But anyway, she filled it with all sorts of different goodies in there, stuff that I can use for blings. So just wanted to share that with you. I'm not sure what this is, but I'll probably be able to use it for something. But I like all these beads and all the little goodies. I love these little dominoes. So, 
Anyway, lots of goodies, as you can see, and they're just dumping it all here. Purses. Another one of these. I guess I can use it for steam steampunky stuff. Little chain. So she looks like she decorated it with some steampunk tissue paper. And then that's the bottom, one of the the feet fell off of it. But anyway, just wanted to share that real quick with you. Um, thank you for increasing my subby numbers. I really appreciate it. I do have a um, kind of a surprise <clears throat> on December 7th. I'm going to uh, debut my first guest design team video for Natasha Scrapa Corner. And that's a YouTube hop um, that she's she's sponsoring her and one little dreamer are the two price sponsors so please join in on that um, I'll be posting my video but there's seven videos that you have to like and subscribe to their channel and anyway I'll give you more information on that on December 7th so stay tuned thank you for all your support thank you for providing me inspiration um, and I hope that I inspire you to create have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye.